What's up guys, and welcome to another Bo Jinjin vlog entry. Um, hope you're having a good day. Um, in this entry, I wanted to um, basically speak on something that's relatively related, <laughs> relatively related to um, what I was talking about in the last entry, uh, which, I, which was done in my flat, where I talked about um, basically the collapse of the middle class. Uh, I thought I'd kind of go out on a whim and do like a, an entry about economy, because you know, why not? And I was kind of, as I was going through my list of um, vlog, ide vlog entry ideas, um, there was, I did at some point want to talk about this, so, and it's also related to that entry, so I thought I'd go ahead and have a talk about this topic in the century, which is basically about scarcity mentality, right? That's a topic for this entry, right? And why this scarcity mentality is, um, is, is kind of the reason why, you know, the majority of the population find themselves um, basically in scarcity, you know, it, it's like, like when, when you, ex you know, you know, the way that I just explained it, you know, it, 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 it's kind of a bit obvious, right? It's like, you know, it, it's a scarcity mentality and, you know, and that is why most of us find ourselves in scarcity, but in practice, it's kind of a bit more subtle than that, right? Um, but essentially, you know, if, if you're even remotely familiar with, um, with, with basically, you know, personal development or, um, just, I, I just, just kind of ideas that, um, revolve around success and, you know, personal growth, you know, um, and things like that, self-help, then you may be familiar with that term, scarcity mentality, scarcity mindset, scarcity mentality, scarcity, and on the opposite side of the spectrum, abundance, right? You might be familiar with those terms. And to define those terms is relatively simple, right? You know, scarcity is um, the state, firstly, of, of kind of being... Um, limited in terms of access to resources or opportunity, right? Um, and abundance is obviously um, when, when you have an abundance, you know, a, a kind of plentiful supply of resources and opportunities, right? But then when you start to really kind of go through life, really, and, you know, and, and and, and think about these these concepts relative to your life experiences, then you real you start to realize that um, it kind of bridges into the way that you perceive life, right? Because the funny thing about these two mentalities, or, or rather these these two concepts, is that they actually both exist, right? You know, it's like it's one of those things that you could have, like you know. <laughs> an endless controversial discussion about them, you know, like, you could have a, a, an ongoing debate that would go on forever and ever, reason being um, that they both exist, right, there are both, like, there are proponents of both sides of the coin, right, you know, like, and, and you start to realise that it is um, dependent, they both exist, but it's dependent on where your focus is, right, so if you focus, like the average person, on how limited you are, how limited resources are on, on planet Earth, how limited our power is relative to the enormity of the planet, of existence, of, of time, then you will, you will continue to basically observe examples um, towards that, right? You know, you'll always see from that perspective the world being a very limited, scarce place, right? But then, if you manage to flip 
your perceptions, right? If you, like, so I always talk about, well, one thing I talk about is expanding your, perce your perspective, right? If, uh, you know, if you're on that stage um, on your journey, you know, of self-actualization or just like personal development, whatever you want to call it, where you're able to at least switch perspectives and to see, and this it's funny how this happens actually a lot of the time because a lot of the times it takes us being overwhelmed by scarcity such that, you know, we're no longer, like our, our kind of coping strategies that, that we've kind of built around, you know, the, the ideas, the principles of scarcity. When they stop working and we, we, we're backed into a corner that is actually that is typically the moment at which we then flip our perspectives and are able to see um, abundance for the first time and to feel abundance for the first time. So you know, and and again, kind of it, like this. This is one of those principles that you know just keeps evolving. The more that you experience, the more you apply it to your experiences, and you realize that um, on top of you know the the kind of philosophical you could say um treatment of, of those two of, of those two ideas those two concepts it is also um a quality that that uh, basically infects your experiences based on 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 the, how you feel about them right you know again another important teaching that i have is tapping into your sensitivity um and so, you know, when you start to feel the significance or the change in, in the quality of your experience based on your focus on, you know, either that be scarcity or abundance, um, you know, you, and when you, when you get to see both, like you, you kind of are able to have um, a perspective on, you know, just relatively how each of those feel compared to one another, right? But anyway, that, that's just kind of an introduction on scarcity and abundance, right? Because these ideas are talked about a lot. Um, and obviously the reason why the average person is poor, is in, in a mindset of scarcity, is, is, predom is, is primarily because they don't, or, or firstly because they don't understand the principles behind these two mentalities, right? They're, they're unconscious of, of this, this, this dynamic. But, and, and you really get a sense of this when you're talking to, to the average person, right? You know, the person who, who um, just kind of lives on autop autopilot, essentially, you know, they, they kind of live through life as if, you know, just, just like the average person's life, right? You know, the average person's day-to-day -day ex day -to -day, day -to -day experience. Um, is, is typically mired in scarcity, but the and the way that scarcity works, being a lower vibrational um, paradigm, you could say, um, low and you know scarcity being kind of a component of low vibration, which is you know in low vibration typically it, it's 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 the paradigm uh, whereby we. Um, Whereby, whereby, we kind of the color that is associated with our experiences. So our focus is along the lines of you know of scarcity, of um, negativity, of, of survival, of um, pr of defense. You know, so in a way, you know, scarcity and low vibration are kind of synonymous. You know. Um, and, and, you know, and then conversely, you have abundance, which is synonymous with higher vibration, right? And again, you know, when, when you're able to see both, right, you realize that they both exist, right? You have a scarcity and you have abundance, right? But then, you know, obviously you have to get to the point where you have the perspective to be able to see both, right? And a typical person doesn't have that, right? So the reason why, that, you know, again, so so with low vibrational um, paradigms, you know, like scarcity, like negativity, like survival, coping, you know, that kind of thing, um, that basically uh, begets more low vibration. So what this means is that 
unconsciousness is another aspect of, of lower vibration, right? So like it, it's 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 a kind of unawareness of, of the deeper kind of aspect of life, or like the or higher principles, you could say. Like it, it is the the my the myopia that that one kind of gets into when when one loses their vision of um, you know higher concepts. Like, for example, the idea of, of how there is this dynamic between scarcity and abundance, right? Or any kind of bigger picture kind of pattern like awareness where like you see, you know, okay, for example, my life using the individual perspective as an example, my life is going in this direction uh, or, or even, you know, my behavior is such that, you know, there are these patterns that are triggered by these circumstances. Um, you know, for example, um, like I have this inherent fear of, of not being loved and, and therefore I um, and, th and therefore like th there's a whole kind of like um, uh, ensemble you could say of, of, of like of circumstances of perceptions um, that basically are that, that come with that that come with that fear of, of being unloved for example so you know any like any any form of kind of higher idea that is that is kind of far removed from like you know the typical thing like from there's there's kind of removed from like day to day practical um ideas you know i don't really have to explain that you know like anything that isn't to do with like driving a car or like eating dinner or like the latest happenings in the world you know on a practical level that is essentially um uh, that is essentially kind of like it's taken out of your perspective, right? So, so you be kind of so low vibration kind of makes you myopic, right? And that in itself is self-reinforcing in that the more the more short-sighted you become, the more kind of obsessed with like trivial details that you become, the more that um, that is the case, right? Because like you're just the deep like you, you your focus becomes more and more entrained on. Um, on trivial details essentially and that is basically what happens to the average person right and this is there there are many reasons be, like behind this you know it is partially media or or rather you know the influences in the in the mainstream that kind of condition us into this myopia right into the short sightedness into this this obsession obsession with trivial details um, and not the bigger picture and also it is just, and, and obviously this kind of self perpetuates within society because then you have people passing on these ideas both between each other and also like you know in, in amongst like families and things like that and so and, and, and this is this is what basically um, and this is what happens right so and this is why the average person tends to be you know, mired in, in pointless details, focused on the negative reasons as to why their life is shit, you know, um, is not able to have the, the, the imagination to see what would be potentially possible for them if they were to just shift their, um, their perspective slightly and, and to kind of zoom out slightly so that they could see the bigger picture and the patterns in which they're kind of immersed and submerged in, right? And you know, and for, I mean, really I'm speaking to those of you or us rather who, who are able to see, um, the, the big picture, who have a bigger picture, like in their minds, you know, who, who can temporarily, even if they are in a circumstance that typically reinforces low vibrational scarcity minded thinking, who is able to have, or, or who, who's able to have kind of this temporary kind of detachment from that and be able to, be able to see kind of a bit bigger picture right you know it is it is it is kind of a message to kind of be aware of, of when we ourselves are being submerged in that that kind of lower vibrational scarcity thinking right but so it is you know so I'm, I'm literally like just kind of giving examples, I guess, of, 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 of like scenarios where um, we fall into the pitfall of, of, of scarcity minded thinking, you know, it's, it's, 
you know, in, in, in recent entries, um, I've talked about basically, uh, uh, if you go back to any of my like recent entries, like, you know, the past few entries I've been talking about, like, and this video is, is rather more kind of practical, you could say, it's, it's more kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, you know, practical, kind of pragmatic, this video is. But, um, you know, in, in those previous few videos, they're, they're kind of on more of a spiritual um, tone. They're of a more spiritual tone, where I talk about basically like following your, your uh, trusting in your experiences and, and following your desire and um, allowing yourself. And all of these ideas are basically along the lines of, of my central teaching, which is to tap into your sensitivity. And the practical reasons for that, as I've outlined in countless videos, is is to um, basically, you know, to to start to forge a life where uh, that has higher quality as as the goal, right? So, like, you know, living lives of higher quality, which entails greater happiness, greater degree of freedom, you know, um, things like that, really. Um, but when when we fall into the, um, this the scarcity minded um, thinking um, like we, we start to kind of that that stuff starts to become less important right um, in another video I also talked about how negativity kind of like you know it was entitled do what you love right and it's like negativity if you're in that kind of environment which is like majority of modern society um, it, it kind of it kind of slowly seeps into your soul in a way <laughs> And into your thinking, you know, into your thinking first, first and foremost, and then it's slowly into your soul. And you start to, like, the, the, your priorities start to shift, right? And, you know, if, if you've ever, again, you know, for those on the path, like, like there, there is a point where you kind of, like, you, you wake up temporarily from, from like, the, the, the myopia and, and the... Um, you know, the, the amusement, like the hysteria of the masses, you know, the the unconsciousness, and you see for once, once, um, once you're there, like you see the bigger picture and you see like what is possible and you see, you feel the love and, and, the, and the, the connectedness within you. Um, and, and you, for once you see like the bigger picture, you see that, you know, okay, you have Perhaps there are things that are more important than just than earning enough money to survive, than smoking cigarettes, than or doing whatever the hell it is. You know, you you see like okay, th there's this other level of existence that I could that I could get to, if 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 like if this kind of mentality persists, if this kind of feeling of abundance, right? Because that that is our first kind of um, contact with abundance. When we when we have that feeling of, of elevation, right, and and the ideas sprout forth and the positivity infects every every fiber of of our being, um, you know, and, and, and like and we, we enter that kind of that, that abundance mindset heart set you know mentality paradigm, right? But then slowly, you know, it's just this is just what happens, right? You know, you're in this society that is that has no choice really you know like i myself am guilty of, of basically like you know haranguing society and mainstream media and all of that stuff but in a way you know the media is kind of a also a victim of, of this scarcity vibration you could say right you know as you go throughout this journey you also realize that there, there, that there is a that there are paradigms right and and by paradigms I use that word a lot, but by paradigms, I mean there is this unmanifested uh, component of, of existence that basically, you could call it like an area of effect, right? You know, like using kind of like a gaming te te like term uh, or idea, like it, it's, 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 it's like a field, right? Similar to how, you know, you have magnetism, which, which magnetism is not visible, right? You can't, you can't visibly detect magnetism until you see the effects of it. Similarly, there is, there are these vibrations, there are these fields, um, such as abundance or, or, uh, or, or scarcity, such as high vibration or low vibration, such as love and fear. Um, these fields 
they exist and they compel you know the uh, the the physical kind of artifacts you could say like the physical objects um that that um that it kind of encompasses to, to, to act in a certain way, to behave in a certain way, to focus on, on in a certain way, right? And therefore, you know, the, you know, the mass media, you know, is really as much a victim of, of this kind of field of scarcity, of negativity, of low vibration, whatever you want to call it, as the individual is, right? But in any case, um, in any case, so this is what happens, right? And, and, um, And, and and basically like you know we and st and slowly but surely your your kind of higher vision of like that you had at one point when when you hit when you kind of ascended to that level starts to slowly sink and you, it is slowly over time like I, I i i gave another concept in one of my previous videos called the crab in the boiling water phenomenon where you know like the effects of low vibration and scarcity slow, start to overtake you in such a subtle way that it happens before you even realize it, right? And so this is what happens, right? Slowly, like, you're kind of, like, nitpicky, like, worrisome, um, like, kind of fearful thoughts start to creep in, right? And you start to doubt yourself. Um, you start to lose your faith. Faith being another kind of concept that I've introduced and also a very important component of abundance and high vibration, all of that stuff. Um, and, 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 and basically, you know, this, this starts to happen, right? And, um, and, and basically, if, if we are to, to, to kind of make progress in, in essence, right? Because ultimately, you know, one of the main reasons that we would focus on this kind of thing, that one of the reasons why I would teach this and, and, and try to pursue it in my own life, is that we want to live lives of happiness, right? If, is we, we want to progress in a way that we were, that we were put here to, to, do, to progress, right? Um, and, and so, like, if, if we are ever to, to reach success, right? Because, you know, everyone talks about success. You know, success is the thing that we all want to have in our lives, to the, the, the kind of goal that we want to achieve. If we ever want to achieve success, we need to kind of recognize scarcity mentality for it for what it is and to put into practice daily um ways in which we we can we can basically like just just like keep keep pushing towards that that abundance um vibration that abundance paradigm that puts us in in these higher perspectives where we are able to see um uh, well, we're able to see, like, you know, what, like, the higher possibilities of what we could do as individuals, as a race of peoples, um, to be able to feel the love and inspiration that, that occurs and the faith that we have in ourselves when we're in these, these states of high vibration, right? So, and, and, you know, there are many practical ways to do this, you know, um, for example, uh, recently I've, I've been, I've started listening to, um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, um, which, which talks about, you know, like, um, auto-suggestion, the art of auto-suggestion, which is essentially the art of, 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 um, of affirmation, right? Just, just kind of every day putting this, this, um, this, this gem of, of inspiration and positivity in your mind such that, like, you, you kind of have something to check it, like, that you have kind of a, uh, a buffer between you and, and the world, right? And you can kind of use that to slowly transform your life, right? Um, and yeah, you know, and, and just, and another good way is, is to allow yourself, right? And of course, this is stepping to the spiritual part of my, of, of my message, which is to allow yourself and to do what you believe is, is good for, well, not what you believe, but like, you know, do what feels good to stop being so judgmental against yourself, to, to tap into your sensitivity and to not to suppress it because depression doesn't work again i refer you to those videos if you're interested in that kind of thing but um but yeah you know and, and that's a very very good way of doing that and generally speaking you know again 
success isn't for everyone. Again, I'm not saying, you know, I do a lot of these videos. I'm not saying that scarcity mindedness is wrong. I'm not saying that if you're in a place of scarcity or like, you know, people who are in a place of scarcity that they're wrong or that, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Like, it, it's more that, you know, this is, this is just a possibility that we could uh, make into reality if, if, you know, if we are, if we just kind of, uh, just, just like exercise a bit of willpower first, first off, but also just to, well, also, and also, you know, I'm, I, like, I wouldn't like to think that the average person is, is completely devoid of hope and, and faith and any form of high vibration. Like, you know, obviously high, high vibration is kind of rare you know, like, which is, which reflects in the real world, you know, there are so many people who are in scarcity, like I was saying, and there are very few people who are actually in, you know, physical abundance. Um, but, like, I wouldn't like to think that the average person is completely devoid of, of that kind of thinking, or, like, or, men, or, like, because, again, okay, this is, this is kind of the central message, right? The reason why people are mired in scarcity is because they fail to recognize that, it is well firstly that they fail to recognize that um scarcity is is merely uh a mentality it is merely a paradigm you know they they haven't seen the other side of the coin which is abundance right so they haven't experienced it they haven't thought about it they're, they are unconscious of it and so they all they know is scarcity right um and so they And so they don't recognize, that, and there are things that obviously are attributed to abundance and success, right? Even though they might not be explicitly um, explained as such, like creativity, like faith, like love, like hope, like um, passion, you know, all of those things, inspiration, motivation, you know, and, and the average person kind of like this, and those, those kind of, those ideas are accessible to the average person. You know, like, again, you know, I wouldn't like to think that people, like, can't conceive of things like, you know, hope and inspiration and passion and things like that. Like, that would be a very depressing world, right? And, like, you know, uh, yeah. And, and, and so, but the thing is, like, the tipping point that we have, to, we have to get to is to realize that value comes from abundance, which is ultimately present, right? Because we we have fostered a, um, a community, you know, a global kind of society where scarcity seems to be the only thing, but we must realize that abundance is also an innate um, an innate kind of feature of us, right? It is an, an, an inherent um, power from which we can draw that is infinite, right? You know, if only we would pay attention to things like creativity, to faith, to hope, to love, you know, to inspiration, to that, you know, to our desires, to that which moves us in a positive way. If only we were to focus on those and to have faith that if we keep focusing on those, even if it's in a tiny way, right? I'm not like, I myself am someone who's like, I guess, like unusual in that way in that like, I really, I'm, I really like to push for what I love, but... If you're the average person and, you know, you're in scarcity or whatever it is, you know, and I won't judge, but, you know, like, you don't have to, like, climb Mount Everest. You can just, like, start to, like, allow yourself to do the things that you love. Allow yourself to think in positive ways, even though it might be mocked or laughed upon, potentially, you know? Like, you know, you don't have to change anything dramatically as long as you just slowly begin to focus on the, the, on, on that which which makes you feel good, right? You know, as, as, as a... As a as a principle, you know, because again, that is one very important part of changing your life circumstance is starting to focus on what you love, right? You know? um, and to realize, and, and ultimately that comes with the realization that, you know, it's actually creativity that provides value. You know, a lot of people think, for example, that money is the only way to make, the only way to make money, right? Uh, resources is the only way to gain resources and thus people are stuck because they think I have no money therefore I can't get more money I don't have many resources therefore I can't uh, procure more resources but they're missing the crucial 
the, the crucial kind of elixir of life, the, the crucial kind of alchemist, philosopher's stone, as it were, the sorcerer's stone, which is that your creativity, which is boundless and abundant, like by, by its very nature, available in infinite supply to each and every one of us, that is what creates value, right? It may not happen overnight, it may take several years, right, you know? But if you keep fostering that creativity, if you keep fostering that passion, that love, then slowly, at some point, something's got to tip, right? And again, this is, this is the, the scarcity-minded narrative's you know, main argument, which is that like, maybe that will never happen. It's not, it's not completely possible. It's not completely objectively provable. And, you know, obviously that is one of the main kind of, like, like weapons of this, of, of scarcity mindedness, right? It is like, you can't prove that. that like, I, did, I did a video about this, right? You know, about being brave and pursuing your passion. It's like, you can't prove that you're going to be successful. You have no idea whether or not you're actually going to ever be successful, right? But don't fall into that trap. You know, don't fall into that trap because it is, it will destroy you, you know? And I can't force you to, obviously, I, well, I'm just saying that, but I can't force you. If you really, if you really don't want to do it, then you, you don't have to do it. But if you have, a, if you have like some inkling or that like you want to do something better with your life, or even to have a better life, then don't fall into that trap. You know, don't fall into it. Keep going and know that, yes, money does create more money. Resources do create more resources, but creativity is how one transforms from having nothing to having something to even having abundance, right? And it's happened countless times in history. It's just that the overwhelming majority, relatively speaking, is, is examples of people who have lived their entire life in scarcity and never knew it, right? Never knew any better. So cool. That was just kind of a perspective. Like it was kind of, I've had this idea floating around my head for a while and I just wanted to do an entry and, and kind of get it out there. And I tried my best to cover all the points that I could remember that I wanted to, to touch upon in this in this uh, particular vlog entry. But I hope that there were some good ideas in there. I hope that you can take something away from this. And I hope that you will continue to crusade as a light worker. You know, I know that's relatively kind of new agey, woo woo kind of a term, but you know, someone who, who at least, and even if you're not that kind of a person, you know, some like keep pushing towards your entrepreneurial dreams, your dreams of, of living a life of freedom, of luxury, of abundance, of happiness, right? So cool. I hope that was good. And all the best, you know, between me and you. Let's let's do this, right? Let's let's make this world a better place. Let's make our lives at least a better like a better life, right? So cool. I will catch you in the next entry and I'm wishing you all the best for the new year. Peace out.